So you just bought a new Dungeons and Dragons book or adventure and you want to start playing. No problem. In this video, we'll go over how to get your new purchase set up for your players and the benefits of getting an adventure from Roll20. Now let's say you just purchased Lost Mine of Endelver and you want to begin prepping for tonight's game. Now you could start by going to the menu bar, hovering over tools and clicking Compendium. Clicking on Dungeons and Dragons, finding your new purchase, in our case, Lost Mine of Fandelver, then flipping through each page like a traditional book. But the best way to get the full benefit of your purchase is to load your game into Roll20's virtual tabletop and see the book's maps, tokens, adventures, and stats organized, indexed, and laid out right in front of you for quick play. Let's see what that looks like. Hover over Games in the menu bar and click Create New Game. Call your game whatever you want and find your purchase on the right side of the screen. As soon as you click it, it will load your character sheet. Note, character sheets are important because they tell Roll20 what game system you're playing. Without a character sheet attached to your game, Roll20 assumes you might be designing your own game or you don't want to use a provided game system. Okay, once our adventure is selected, click Create New Game. Our new D&D game has been created and now we're on our game's landing page. There's a lot of options for scheduling, inviting, adjusting settings, game add-ons, and adding token markers here. We'll go over all those in another video, but right now, we just want to see our game. So let's hit Launch Game. Now that our game is loaded up, I can see everything that came with my adventure. At the top of the page, I can click the blue page toolbar to show all the maps and pages that came with the module. If you click on those pages, you'll notice that the maps are already set up with encounters and NPCs mentioned in the book, ready for you to play. Speaking of the book, let's check that out too. Your adventure can be found in a couple different places. The two main sections will be the journal section and the compendium. The journal section has all the adventure information, the tokens, the NPCs, the character sheets, everything you need to run the adventure will be there. And the compendium, well, the compendium has all the stats, magic items, spells, anything that you would need to look up in the back of a core rule book, That'll probably be in the compendium. Think of it like the journal section has all your plot points, characters, and tokens you need to run the adventure. But the compendium is more of a tool to run the game system. Let's check out the journal section. In the top right menu, click the third icon that looks like a newspaper. This is your journal. This is where all the notes, tokens, and handouts will be for your adventure. And Roll20 has organized this adventure for you into folders. Hit the plus symbol to expand your folders and the minus symbol to collapse them. If you click on a page, it'll pop up for only you to see on the table. If you double click the top bar of that page, it'll minimize it. Hit the pop out button to make a new window or click show to players to share this page with them. Once clicked, this handout will now show up in your player's journal section. Now icons with an avatar or token are character sheets. Dragging a character sheet to the game board will drop a pre-made token onto the map. Double clicking it will give you some token details like health bars and nameplates. But holding down shift and double clicking your token will bring up the details on this token, including its bio and character sheet. Now this might look like a regular paper character sheet. But since we're playing a D&D adventure converted by Roll20, all the actions, spells, skills, and pretty much everything else is editable and click to roll, which means all the math and dice rolls are done for you. Go ahead and click anywhere on the character sheet to explore this. Now, your players can also roll by double clicking the dice icon in the toolbar. A dice roller will appear and they can use that as needed. Now that we found our character sheets, Let's go ahead and share them with our players. Hit the edit button in the top right corner of the character sheet. Select the player's name in the journal. Now when your players log in, it'll show up in their journal section. It's worth noting that they won't be able to control this character sheet until you go back into this section and put their name in the can be edited and controlled by section. Depending on your house rules, you as a GM might want to control this section or you might want to make this available to all players. Great. 
So we've read up on our adventure, we've gotten familiar with the encounters and NPCs, and we've assigned some character sheets. We're way ahead of the game right now, but we want to add some little tweaks to our game to make it truly ours. Let's check out the compendium. Click the icon next to the journal. It's a circle with an eye in the center. Here's where all your game system books live. In our case, all our Dungeons & Dragons content from every book we've purchased can be found here, read here, and distributed from here. Think of it like your own little information center. So say you want to look up a certain spell to add to a character sheet. You can search for it here, open up a character sheet, and drag it to a token's character sheet. If you want to look up a monster that came specifically in this book, click Monsters, Filter Results, and select Lost Minds of Phandelver. Great! Now I can drag one of these names to the table and it will load automatically. I can also click the arrow next to the name to get more details. Or I can just click the name and read it from here. Note, you can browse the entire book from this single page. Just scroll to the top and click Home. This will give you a list of all your D&D compendium purchases. Feel free to click and browse. And there you have it! You can now easily view your purchases in-game. Enjoy your new book.